welcome this is the energy vibration reading for um, the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is going to be um, a wonderful month love emotion um, connections new love coming in and connections for you Capricorns I want to say thank you so much for being here thank you for being back please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign and um, I want to say to each and every person this is good a good time for love for you guys because the energy vibration is that you are finding out who you are and you are choosing for um, a more positive relationships good people normal people in your life and um, this is going to be um, very very good so whatever the situation is whatever that is transparent it's going to be wonderful it's going to be good um new things are coming in so let's look you have the energy of the lovers which is wonderful so for you capricorns you are going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmate in this month this is going to be wonderful it's going to be a wonderful positive positive energy in this month so okay um let's go forward and look and see what is happening and um, let's see what is going to be transpiring in this month of March for you Capricorns uh, we have temperance and balance in the first week um, this is and um, energy of an earth sign energy so this is going to be good um, beginning the week um, the month with temperance and balance and let's see what is coming in the second week for the Capricorns you have um, the um, Queen of Cups and um, here in this third week let's see what is coming up for you guys you have uh, um, regrets um, um, an ending to the Queen of Cups whoever this Queen of Cups is um, there is an ending I'm not sure um, who this person is and let's see what else is happening you have win a battle that was going on and that is good and then you have a new beginning so um, this is wonderful whatever the situation is and whatever the situation was and that sort of a thing you are seeing that you have to deal with a lot of energies a lot of people um, there is an ending someone is leaving your life um, this ending could be the energy of the Queen of Cups it could be your mom so we are going to be looking in um, there is um, a debt and transformation whatever the situation is whatever this debt and transformation is um, it is um, coming um, in so let's um, move forward and look and see what is happening in your lives and um, this is you know this is kind of weird this is kind of a situation that is happening this is um, certain energies in certain situation that are transpiring so the only major or corner you have is um, um, temperance so let's see what's happening with temperance with the Queen of Cups um, you have the five of Pentacles so um, this Queen of Cups whatever the situation is whatever that has been transpiring whatever hardship that has been going on between you and this Queen of Cups um, it, you know the situation is going to be vibrating this good situation is going to be there for whatever reason so um, let's uh, see further um, you have um, the five of swords conflict and it has conflicts and there's someone that is walking away it could be good as Queen of Swords for some of you um, who are coupled up with um, someone over the age of 40 um, that is leaving um, a relationship that is uh, moving away and this is a woman so for you men out there um, maybe this person wants to divorce this person wants to end a relationship there is sadness I see a sense of sadness and someone walking away from you then we have the Queen of Pentacles so this is going to be wonderful for you um, uh, Capricorns out there because what is transpiring and what is happening for you guys is that um, whatever the situation that is 
you're having balance in the first week and you're going to win this battle and you're going to win this battle like really win this battle because um there is a battle that has been going on between you and the um the queen of cups is somebody is someone over the age of 40 and you are going to win this battle um this could be um also a connection because in the the first half of the month you're going to be connecting with this um um with this person who is a pisces cancer or a scorpion this could be in work situation um you know and you're feeling a bit uh, 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 you know it could be somebody supervisor that sort of a thing and you know it's a good match but sometimes you think oh my god could you just let me do what i have to do <laughs> you know that sort of a thing uh are you going to always sit over my shoulder that sort of a thing and um because some people just like to work on their own and maybe you're couple up with this person and then it's like uh, you know if you know what is going to happen is this um going to be something that is happening and this two of cups this sort of a thing so I'm sorry <laughs> in the middle of the night it's 7 12 o'clock so um you know just have some balance just have some temperance have some balance with this person whatever it is just try and understand this person's situation you know it is it is someone who is really 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 going to be you know uh, having a, some situation that is happening and that sort of a thing so let's move on and see what is happening um, here you have the six of cups so this situation is a karmatic situation whatever the situation is um, is a karmatic situation so I'm seeing um, something that is happening here because there is a sadness someone is walking away from you someone has turned their backs and is walking away from you so um, it's uh, you know a relationship ending and this is a a karmatic relationship this is a relationship that um, uh, came from a past life and this is what I say to um, people sometimes is that um, I say to a lot of people um, love is coming in love is coming in someone um, wants to tell you how much they care about you someone um, this could be the energy of a child so um, people who have kids um you know you're going to have the sort of energy vibration of you know good kids wonderful kids are coming in and that sort of a thing so um someone is you know searching out the cups to say you know they care about you they're like you and um, they want to you know um, come together with you this is what is happening for um a lot of you women who are single or who are not single but there is someone who is you know really letting you know that they really care about you and they really 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 um, um, like you and they want to be with you um, it is a love that is coming up and this could be someone um, from from a past relationship which is um, really going to be good so um uh this is going to be um a very positive energy because this person for some um reason somehow they're coming up for whatever reason it is um so this is going to be good you know whatever it ha is happening whatever is transpiring um it is someone who is you know like i really feel so connected to you and you know I want to see if there's anything and you know whatever you're feeling or that sort of a thing so someone new um, a lot of you know people are going to be connected with past life and soulmates that are coming in um, for you and them to work out something there is there is something here that I, I really want to know and I wish I had my help cards but I they're not here so I'm just gonna use another sort of a help cards to look um, at what is going on so um, 
let's see uh, who is this leaving what is this all about oh okay hmm money is coming in for you guys anyway um all right this is your money card um okay so um i kind of find you reading a beige sadness sorry sorry a beige is sad this month capricorns i'm not sure what is happening for you i'm i'm, I'm finding your reading to be very sad this month Come on, Capricorns. Okay. Oh, you know, balance. Some of you are working with someone. This could be your supervisor or someone um, that you're working with. You're in your own energy vibration because you're coming up, winning a, a battle, receiving money, and a new beginning is going to start for you. So whoever you are that is, you know having a situation where um, there has been a battle that has been going on for a very long time you are going to begin the month of March um, with this sort of a situation that is really 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 vibrating in a sense that this situation what is going to happen and what is really going to transpire is that you're going to sort of balance out whatever that is transpiring and um, and, and um, the energy of this woman which it could be your your for some of you if you, your mother is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion in the second week and what I'm receiving is that in the second week you know there is going to be a little bit of sadness if your mom has passed away in this week or um, if you have to deal with things with your mom in the second week um, what what you're going to do is bring an end to it because the second week um, general energies is the energy of the world so what you're going to do is kind of bring an end to that and decide you know um, I have to move on from this and sort of it heal so the healing is um, not really that someone is breaking up out of a relationship for some people yes but the healing it's it is actually a healing that is coming in because what is happening is that this healing is coming in um, because you're kind of understanding and letting go of something because you have the five of swords so um there's a lot of changes there's a lot of um, changes that is going to be happening for you um, um, who Capricorns because um, you have the five of Pentacles um, you know you are having a more you know as sort of our relationship with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion you're having a really hard time but this person is actually a soulmate that came in for you and her to move on together and uh, but it's as if you feel as if you know this person is just always there and you need to just do your stuff and just you know but there is going to be conflicts the number 55 is changes changes coming in um there is a sadness of you know an ending but this ending brings you the nine of cups your wishes and dream um so um uh, you know it, the, the nine of cups is really like the the card of the world where um you know there is one thing ending but something beautiful and better is you know is coming up your wishes and dreams are now um, coming up and that sort of a thing so whatever is happening whatever is transpiring is that something has ended in your life but something new and better is about to happen and what is happening here um, because this this is what that is um, taking place and this is what that is happening um, the energy of um, the six the six of cups and you have twice 
you have the energy of the six of cups and this is a, a, a cosmetic a situation that means something is a relationship whoever this Queen of Cups is uh, um, you have a relationship with her she could be your mom she could be your sister she could be a grandmother whoever it is it is not that she's passing away um, it is that because it's the central of your reading so a lot of you are going to be after dealing with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion um, and it is in the second week so it could be someone who is uh, has passed on and you are going to be connected with them because it's as if there is a sadness of they leaving but the energy of uh, um, the um, um, they're bringing you happiness and joy and they're bringing you a wish that you were wishing for because the eye princess and uh, um, the um, the eye princess and the tinder is here so I mean this is really really um, good because there is a situation that is going to transpire and the eye princess which is your you know she is your spirit guides and the Empress is here going to make sure that your wishes and dream come true so this is good and you also have the six of cups twice so you have 55 and 66 you guys are 55 and 66 know how to sign I really had a double number that I, I you know that I should give out but you have twice the six of cups so there is a lot of karmatic situation um, that is happening just a lot of karmatic situation that is happening for um, you guys and this is why I said it's a you know I'm sorry to say that it was a boring reading but it's actually not really a, a boring reading because there's a lot of healing that is taking place because um, in the month of March there is so many healing that is taking place and I'm seeing that your financial situation is going to be getting better and in balance but it's not coming up in the reading in the reading it is more of an emotional cleansing it is more of an emotional healing it is more of an um, you know connecting with your soulmate and your twin flame this is really connecting with your soulmate and your twin flame this is a connection of people coming together to make something happen and this is really positive and really good so um you know this, this these are really really good energies that is happening um, for you guys in this in this month but it's all about love and there's new love coming in so a lot of you are going to find yourself because there is someone that is saying I um, you know I care about you um, and some people and I'm seeing that some people who are in relationships um, this is going to be happening that um, you're going to be meeting um, someone and uh, this person is going to let you know how um, let you know how they feel about you and um, it is for you to you know say um, whether or not you know that is what you know you are looking for or, or that sort of a thing so um, whatever is happening um, whatever honestly whatever is happening it is um, going to be good um, in the sense of love because as, as you know someone is really um, going to let you know how much they're they care about you and um, this is going to be opening up a new because it's, it's a soulmate it's a soulmate because it's as if your angels and guides and your spirit guides is orchestrating you two to come together to um, see what is happening in your life it, it, you know see what is happening and um, this is just going to be extremely positive so um, whatever transformation whatever that is happening I can let you know that a lot of people are going to be meeting their twin flame and soulmate because it is air it is love coming um, to you the love is um, you know people are you know holding up the cups and you know let you know hey um, and this could be love coming from your kids for the people who are married and um, are in a relationship it could be love coming from your kids but this is more of um, someone um, letting you know how they feel about you and you know 
um, realize this you know because um, it's as if the universe have placed you to to cross each other part and um, make much of it as you can because it's as if your spirit guides of orchestrate this meeting and this is going to be good because two of cups is here some people um, are going to be um, having a relationships connection um, with um, some people are going to be having um, a connection in relationship with um, the um, the Pisces cancer or scorpion this is here whatever is happening um, this is here so some people are going to be having relationships with this person okay so um, you know this is going to be wonderful so let's look at the and you know for you ladies whatever the battle whatever battle that has been going on for you ladies it is going to finally come to an end you're going to win this you're walking away with four swords um, you know you're going to win this battle and a new beginning is going to come up so whatever that has been playing out whatever that has been you know vibrating around you you're going to win this battle and then you're going to move away um, from this sort of energy um, to something which is much better I, I you know I see a, a, a kind of a sadness in the third week but not to worry because um, your sadness the end of something a new beginning is going to be happening for you so this is going to be good let's look at um, love um, for the ladies over 40 to see what is going to happen for the Capricorn ladies in the month of March and the ladies over 40 and calling in the love angels the love angels to show us what's going to happen for the, the Capricorn ladies over the age of 40 um, let's look at the Capricorn man over the age of 40 for the month of March what is going to be happening ha -ha! let's see what is happening for the princesses the younger ladies over March Ooh, and let's see what is going to be happening for the younger men in the month of March okay okay for the younger men it's 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 gonna be fabulous okay I need to find out why what conflicts or the Capricorn ladies over the age of 40 going to have to deal with and they're saying three um, one two three okay okay there's a new um, okay so for the ladies over the age of 40 you Capricorns out there over the age of 40 some of you are going to be having um, relationships some of you are going to be having conflicts in relationship battles in a relationship conflicts with um, your partner um, and what is this conflicts is going to be about this conflict is going to be about that uh, you wants to move on um, but it's as if you're um, you know you're old you're you're you know they're holding on to you and um, it's as if you um, want to move on with someone or they want to move on with someone who is an um, Aries Leo or Sagittarius they want to move on with somebody who is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius or uh, it could be um, for ambitious reason that you want to move on um, with this man okay this man is someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius that you want this man could be uh, he is younger than you are in some ages um, I'm getting five ten the age difference but um, you know this, this this is what is playing out so for you ladies you're having you know relationship you know it's as if you want to um, venture out in new um, or new ventures or meet new people um, this is why the conflicts is there because Capricorn women is like whenever you have seen all the ends of a relationship and you want to move on um, but somehow 
you want to move on but it's as if you are bounded to, to someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and you are going to decide that no I, I really and it is an Aries man because the energy of the devil comes in here and um, it is an Aries man because what is happening and what is transpiring is that this woman is in conflicts because she wants to move on it's as if she's stuck with a relationship she wants to move on but the energy of the devil is, is like this energy of this person whoever this person is whoever this and is someone who is younger than you are is trying to hold you back they don't want to give you this new start that you you know you really need this new start because it has been conflicts and conflicts you want to have this new start you know see you, you need to move on but there is someone who is an Aries who uh, and this person is um, younger than you are and they don't want you to move on you know they want to hold on on you which you know for you I, I you just want to just move on um for the men over 40 you have the energy of the Sun so your love life is just brilliant wonderful I the men are really having a wonderful time in their lives the men over 40s as if I have you know I'm where I want to be I feel good um, it's very successful I'm happy whatever is happening so um, yeah this is good as we move forward to um, the princess we have the princess that is coming in and you are going to be um, not a nice energy that is coming in for you princesses not a nice energy that is coming in for you princesses it's just not going to be a nice energy um you know um what I'm a sort of a betrayal a betrayal is coming in for you princesses um new relationships is coming up um new relationships is coming up new job situation is coming up let's see what's happening with these princess and the ten of swords because a lot of betrayal um, you have to find inner strength you princesses and balance in a lot of betrayal um, okay for you women 18 18 and older um, betrayal um, you're gonna be stabbed in the back whatever it is um, you young princesses you're gonna be stabbed in the back so this is people 18 until um, 40 you're gonna be stabbed in the back um, you need to find inner strength let me see yeah you need to find inner strength um, because you're going to find out something in this month that is going to hurt you um, it's a betrayal um, someone is going to betray you guys and um, you're gonna you know sort of balance out the situation that sort of a thing and then you're gonna balance out your emotion so someone is gonna betray you in whatever reason um, someone is going to be um, but you know and but you know you, you're balancing out this it's as if you're finding in a strength and you're kind of balancing it out because um, whatever the the ten of swords it's you know the betrayal that is going to come in you're gonna find the inner strength to like you know move over it and then it's gonna be okay and um, you have um, you're gonna balance out that situation so um, it's good that you're gonna find ways and means of balancing out the situation in your life okay <sighs> the men is, is as if it's magic coming in for in the love um, endings old relationships are being ended and new relationships are coming in only the ladies are not having such a wonderful wonderful love in this in this month it's you men are you have the Sun and the world and, and I mean seriously 
you men have the sun and the world um, you know this is wonderful but the women you know they have they have it very hard but this is good endings of relationship and new beginnings that are coming in endings of relationship and new beginnings that are coming in okay so this is wonderful and really a lot of people are going to be meeting new people. they're coming in um, if you're looking for work you're going to be connecting with the right people the right group um, this is going to be very good this is just so positive I saw this come up and the six of ones comes up so in work and now we're going to look at your finance we're gonna look at your money to see what is happening so um, work is going to come in a lot of people are going to have their dream jobs this is going to be good if you're looking for work you're going to find the perfect match if you're looking for work you are going to find the perfect match to the job that you have been looking for so um, this is going to be good whoever you are out there you're going to um, really really find the perfect match in a job something that is going to be perfect for you um, so let's look at your financial situation um, do you have any other messages for the Capricorns and their financial situation any other messages for the Capricorn and their financial situation the four of swords in reverse so you're no longer you know waiting there's no more waiting that is going to happen um, the ace of Pentacles is coming in new beginning with your financial situation and your financial situation is going to be balanced out so it's this wonderful I thought it was such a sad reading because there was no major arcana except from balance but um, it's gonna be good because what is happening is that um, now you, you know you start because um, new job opportunities are going to come in and I know a lot of people are going to say you know when is it going to come in and uh, um, it's gonna come in in the third week um, a lot of new job opportunities are going to be coming in in the third week a wonderful job new um, new job opportunities are going to be coming in in the third week and you know then you're going to start off and trust me your financial situation is going to be good it's going to be balanced out um, and you're going to bring back financial stability in your world so um, you know I've been receiving that a lot of uh, Capricorn financial stability wasn't that good um, but um, you know it's, it's it's going to be balanced out I don't know I am getting this um, I'm getting this for um, for a Capricorn out there and I spoke to her and you know I'm asking other other Capricorns um, to join with me as I am going to pray for a lady um, am I gonna pray or I'm going to ask for help um, um, okay um, you know all you Capricorn ladies who have kids and you know um, whatever that is transpiring in your child's life as we pray for other um, people kids and I'm asking each and every Capricorn um, if you have a child and you have uh, uh, you know please um, pray for this lady she's a wonderful lady um, she is having um, some legal issues with her son and she needs the help of Prius um, so that he doesn't um, get um, you know that he, it's so um, please I'm asking you whoever um, you are out there um, hold hands and join in hearts we can't hold hands because we're not there but join in hearts as we're going to pray for this lady who is going through a very very um, a rough time at this moment but uh, you know uh, she's fighting to hold on to her son because she's going to a situation with her son and um, I you know I'm calling upon the universal angels and guides 
and all the angels of this Capricorn lady and all the Capricorns who are watching this please help this lady and her son so that her child can return home to her um, for all of us who have kids we know what it is like um, when you know uh, you know there is a, a sort of a thing that we're going to lose our kids just ask the universal angels and guides um, for a divine intervention in whatever is going on for this lady um, child so that this child can return home to his parents okay um, thank you um, this is one of our you know the family of Katikon channel that's my channel um, one of us ladies are going through a situation with her her, her, um, her son and um, I want to say thank you for everyone joining in to do that you know so as you go along and you go about um, you know remember this lady who is going through you know a really horrific time at this moment um, with her child and I received this message from the vortex um, because we pray for that lady child and it says babies are thinking and attracting before they are speaking isn't this wonderful I just prayed about this and the angels brings up this even though you are only months old in the physical body you are a very old and wise creator focusing the in the baby's body and you came with powerful intention people often assume that because a child is not yet offering words the child could not be the creator of its own um, experience but it is our promise to you that no one else is creating your experience children elevate and vibration which are the reason for what they attract even from their time of birth and this is wonderful because this is like a it looks like a baby on a moon but it looks like a baby in um, the mother um, stomach and he's like you know sending out little signal that and I you know I I don't know um, if you women if you women out there um, that have kids um, because when I was pregnant I you know once my my child start moving I mean we could have these conversation and he will just you know and, and this is it so it was just so powerful because uh, you know my baby and I we could have this conversation and he will just kick and he will just oh my god it was just so unbelievable um, amazing because uh, you know I you know I could talk to him and you don't have to talk loud you can talk um, you know just in your mind with your baby and connect with your baby because you are carrying him so this will come out so this was wonderful so um, Oh my God! You got you guys got this um, magnificent. You know another sign got this Capricorns. Isn't that wonderful? Wow! So you know you guys get a double whammy, number twenty one abracadabra, and magnificent. This is wonderful, isn't it? Oh, congratulations! Um, so we're going to look at the zodiac energies and see what the zodiac energies are bringing in for you guys. Wow, the energy of the moon, the energy of the moon, you Capricorns, the energy of the moon is coming in you Capricorns. Isn't this wonderful? So your psychic is going to be on a high you Capricorn psychic is just going to be on a blazing eye so this is wonderful and this is good congratulations the energy of the moon comes up for you Capricorns so I want to say to each and every person out there this is going to be wonderful a wonderful month it's nearly 40 minutes um <laughs> I want to say thank you for being here and I'm wishing you 
uh, um, wonderful wonderful love energies in this month namaste Thank you.